Hi, Brent Tech here, where tech is made simple. Recently, Microsoft have announced that they have made improvements for Microsoft Edge version 94, which is the latest stable release uh, in the Windows Task Manager on Windows 11. Now, this currently these improvements are not currently available in Windows 10. This is only available currently on Windows 11. Now, currently in Windows 10, when you open Windows Task Manager and expand Microsoft Edge on the Processes tab, you see a list of processes named Microsoft Edge. And this is just a screenshot of what it looks like in Windows 10 currently, where you expand the entry of Microsoft Edge and you get all the different processes, which at this stage are you know, still in Windows 10, just called Microsoft Edge, Microsoft Edge, and so on. So you can't actually identify each process. And this can, you know, uh, get a little bit confusing and tedious if you are trying to problem solve and actually close maybe a extension or add-on that is giving problems in the Edge browser. Now, as mentioned, this isn't available yet, these improvements in Windows 10, but um, with the latest improvements to the Windows Task Manager, Microsoft says now you will see a detailed view of the Microsoft Edge processes. And in Windows 11, the easiest way to launch your task manager is just to right click your start menu and that launches your task manager. Now the task manager is a very useful and handy piece of software and has been around in Windows basically since uh, the beginning of Windows and it gives you useful information about your CPU usage, memory, disk usage and so on. And also if you are trying to problem solve, uh, you can always click on a relevant app or program and you can end the task, especially if that app or program is freezing. And that's just a, one example of many things you can do in the task manager. Now, if we just go to that Microsoft Edge entry now, you will see in Windows 11 that when I expand Microsoft Edge now, those processes are actually listed by their different names and are not just called Microsoft Edge. So this just makes identifying each uh, process a lot better with this, these new improvements now to the task manager in the, to the task manager. Uh, in Windows 11. Now these improvements include for the browser process, Microsoft says the browser process, GPU process and crash pad process, you will see the process type with a descriptive name and icon such as browser, GPU process or crash pad and you can see a browser crash pad. And then for the utility plugin, the utility plugin and extension processes, you will see the process type and the name of the service plugin or extension. As you can see here, Highlighter, Malwarebytes, Microsoft Outlook, it gives me the actual names of those extensions and add-ons. And for tabs, I've got one tab that's open here. Uh, they say for tabs, you will see the word tab and the site name and icon. And they say note for in private tabs, that's private browsing windows, uh, the site name will be removed and icon will be updated to a default tab icon. And then for subframes typically used for ads, you will see the word subframe followed by the subframes URL and all dedicated workers and service workers will be listed. So everything that's currently running in your Edge browser will be listed here in its own process and name. So I think that's quite handy uh, moving forward with uh, the task manager and Microsoft Edge. And if you want to end the task, um, they say when ending tasks, depending on the process that you are ending, you will see different behaviors. A few examples of what you may see are, as an example, the browser process. Uh, if you end that task, all processes related to that instance of Microsoft Edge will close. So the whole browser will close uh, if you, you know, um, you click on the browser, everything, the whole browser will actually, the, the task will be ended. And the GPU process, they say uh, the GPU process, utility processes, processes will close and restart. When the processes close, you may see a brief change in your Microsoft Edge window. For example, when the GPU process is closed, your Microsoft Edge window will briefly go black and will return to normal once the process is restarted. And when the audio utility process is closed, if you are listening to music, your audio will briefly stop and will return to normal once the process is restarted. So, and they give a couple of extra examples. And what I will do is I'll actually leave that post improving how Microsoft Edge processes appear in the task manager. I will leave a link to this down below as 
it gives you some useful information on the new uh, edge processes and how they look in the task manager in Windows 11. And I'll leave this down below as mentioned. And currently, as I said uh, a while ago, um, it's not yet available in Windows 10. And at this stage, we don't know if this will be made available in Windows 10. So I hope you found this video useful. Once again, thanks for watching and I will see you in the next one.